All right, you're on the platform, and let's just bring you up to speed on the story we've broken this morning. The New Zealand Nurses Organisation, one of our largest uh, healthcare unions, representing 55,000 New Zealand nurses, um, has taken a remarkable position uh, via a press release it released on September the 3rd of this year, urging Pharmac to take an Israeli drug company off its list of suppliers. Teva is the name of the company. Uh, Teva is an Israeli company. We do not know specifically whether or not Teva actually supplies any drugs to Pharmac, uh, but Teva is an Israeli company that pays tax in Israel to the Israeli government. And that appears to be the very, the only reason that the New Zealand Nurses Organisation believes it should effectively be boycotted. It has not highlighted any specifics of the um, uh, drug company being involved in the conflict, supporting in particular the Israeli Defence Force or the current government in Israel, apart from legally paying its taxes. Now, the person reason leading this charge, this ridiculous charge, is a guy called Grant Brooks. He is a board member of the New Zealand Nurses Organisation. He used to be its president, though he got in some trouble for apparent bullying there. He claims to be a mental health nurse. He wouldn't talk to us when we rang him this morning. He has blue hair a nose, and a nose piercing, and he occasionally wears a tea towel around his neck. Um, so I wonder how many nurses knew about this, and I wonder if the nurses' uh, organisation, which is meeting today for its AGM in Wellington, is aware of, uh, in my opinion, how silly it looks. I wonder too what our Jewish community uh, make of this and our Israeli expat community make of, of this stance by the New Zealand Nurses Organisation. Joining us now is David Kerman. He's from the Israel Institute. David, uh, welcome back to the platform. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Sean. Um, your reaction to this stance by the New Zealand Nurses Organisation? Uh, I, I think it's disgusting that an organisation that um, purports to want to help improve our health system and work for nurses is um, actively undermining it in this way um, by asking Pharmac to effectively abrogate their fiduciary duties and their duties of care um, just because a company pays taxes in a democratic country that they don't like. Um, it's absurd. Um, it's ridiculous. It's dangerous. And I think it's um, discrimination that unfortunately is um, becoming increasingly mainstream um, and not just companies that pay taxes in Israel, but Jewish and Israeli businesses and individuals are being targeted in New Zealand as well um, mm. by these activists. And it's it's disgusting. Well, as someone said, you know, um, what was it? Hummus is apparently a political statement now, um, and a number of other companies. Uh, well, do we know whether or not, though, Mr Brooks, and he appears to be the sort of person that's of strong political views, he might be acting as a bit of a lone wolf here, maybe he's gone a bit rogue? I hope so, um, and I hope that then the nurses' organisation um, makes that very clear and gets back to... Um, dealing with some pretty serious issues in our health system, let's be honest, um, and that's what they claim to want to be working on. So if they went back to their knitting and, and actually did things um, for their members, then that would be great. So hopefully he has gone rogue um, and, and the nurse organisation clears it up mm. um, soon. Um, it also says if a nurse's organisation is taking a position like this that I think can be interpreted as anti-Semitic, that is a real concern for consumers of health services in New Zealand. Yeah, um, although to, to your last point, I, I would suggest that the majority of the members of the nurses' organisation um, would be aghast to learn that their leadership had taken the stance. Um, I think most nurses um, who would join as members of a union um, and most nurses in general are, are, are caring, wonderful, amazing, hardworking, underappreciated people. And to hear that their organisation um, is doing something like this that is so discriminatory 
um, and absurd, uh, I think that they would be as shocked as we are. Mm. Okay. Um, are you going to seek, is the Israel, Israel Institute going to seek some clarification from the NZNO? Uh, yeah, yeah we, we, we have a, a letter being drafted at the moment to um, figure out exactly what's going on. 